Saraswati, the goddess of all languages and literary cultures, that I must invoke now to make this festival a success and joyous experience. I too have waited for the great excitement, for this great excitement and the expedition, expedition, expedition for this day to come. Every one of us at the Academy strove to, to the utmost in our organizing this event. I am immensely happy to see all of you who have gathered here. I hope this experience will be something that you cherish for a long time in your life. <coughs> this festival is a celebration of our splendid and multiple cultures of India, especially now on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of our freedom. It is indeed time to, to showcase our multiple linguistic and magnificent literary achievements in this land to revel in the plenitude that this that this nation presents. All of us here are proud of this diversity and at the, at the same time are deeply aware of the oneness that binds us all together. We are familiar with the two terms associated with the excellence that any society achieves, its levels of civilization and culture. I am not an anthropologist, but I sense that civilization has to do with the outer self, the forms and cultural manifestations, be it food, attire, ritual, practices and conventions, or any other form of behavior, form of behavior seen from outside. On the other hand, culture is the inner tool. It brings all these aspects of the society's way of life together, gathers all these into its orbit. When we begin to think of something as complex and as, multi as multiple as Indian culture, rather Indian cultures, we are keenly aware of two things, our individuality and our commonality. What is distinctive and also what is said in my culture, Sherwood, as an Indian, there are many languages, my region, and other geocultural and linguistic factors that impact my highly individuated idea of this cultural identity. At the same time, I am also conscious of the shared collective matrix that I call Indian culture. I am as much divided, defined by this collective cultural selfhood as by my difference and the diversity. This idea is something that becomes all the more palpable when I think of literature. After all, all literatures in the national or even the world context have more or less similar themes, material, life stuff to deal with. Life, death, pain, or love, love loss, or despair, these emotions are the rasa, are rasa, as well as them, they might look so different and present infinite variety outside. Each community or the folk are individual. To start with, it is important and necessary to recognize that the community, race and ethnic roots that such cultural and literary productions emerge from are all unique and, and un, 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 unrelated, no doubt. 